it's actually what is it christmas eve here uh but i gotta go party probably a little bit later uh, but i want to do this um, report really because i got so many people in let's go help you know the uh, online closed facebook group where people continually have problems with uh, uh getting out of debt and having cash emergencies and things like that so i put together a report here that shows you you know, all the free help that you could get. And there's steps and it, it can't happen overnight and it's going to take work. You can't look for that magic, you know, website that's going to give you that, you know, that $50,000 check to cover everything. That, you know, that may happen if I find them, I put them in my infomercials, but most likely that's not going to happen for most of us. You know, it's going to take work, it's going to take effort. And most importantly, and when I put in this report, you know, so if you're a Lesco Help member, you can get a, a copy of this report, is that uh, you have to get off the internet and on the phone. That's important. I think that to solve these kind of problems. Now, I, I have six steps here uh, that I want to go through so you know what to do. Okay, number one is to see what emergency cash is in your area. It's different all over. The government does have emergency grant money, usually up to about uh, $1,600 is what I've seen that's available no matter where you live, but it's different offices, different, there's no one place to go to get this. But uh, I show you the, you know, about this program so you can find it yourself. Now, the way I show you this is one, I have a sample program. Here's Wisconsin. If you watch this video, you will see uh, what they have in Re Wisconsin and see that it's up to $1,600 you know, uh, to keep you, you know, afloat, you know, kind of thing as you figure things out. So, and it's different, different requirements in every office, every state, every county. It's usually at the county government level. So that's what you want to find first is sort of the find out, okay, what kind of emergency cash? If you can't pay your rent, can't pay your mortgage, things like that, uh, uh, that what emergency cash is available? And here's how to find that. Now, the other thing you want to do is get help with your finances. The same people that help you in with these emergency cash problems, you know, also give free counseling and help for any for looking at your whole picture, not just the, the fire drill you're having, but to get rid of the debt, how to manage this, what to do, and, and give you some kind of plan. Now, the next uh, video here, uh, the number two, is a video that shows you the five organizations. You know, there's five organizations where you live, they're in every county, and I show you how to find them in this video and what they do, and what you have to do is call them. This is, you know, this is why it's important to get a phone. Don't just go on the website and, and think, oh, I'll just pick a click and fill out a form and, and, and solve my problem. That's not going to happen. I mean, maybe you get hit by lightning, it does. But for the most part, you're going to have to get out there. These people provide most of them, and it's different in every city. It's every county is a little different. So you have to be open-minded and see what they have where you live. You call all five. Why do you call all five? Because they do the same thing? Because everyone will have different kinds of solutions. And even if they're the same, some of them may be different. And that's what you have to do. You have to get out there and find little opportunities by talking to more than one person to see what may be out there. Now, all these people I give you in these five organizations are there just to help you with your financial problem. That's all they're supposed to do. They get grants to do that for free. And that's why if you go on Google, you're gonna find people, they're gonna sell you money, sell you services, sell you things like that. Don't, you don't have money now, you're, gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna have less money after you deal with them. And that's not a, you know, a, a good thing to do in my mind. Of course, I'm not right all the time. <laughs> I've got two failing businesses and two failing marriages to show you. <laughs> so, but it, this is what I've learned from researching these programs and there to help you. You have to put in effort on your side or it's not going to work. You know, uh, there's no single button to press and, and have all this go away. You're going to have to get, you know, do the effort and the research yourself. So contact them all. Uh, 
And I even have people here that shows you, here's an interview, I have a part of this video that shows you the five people that contact locally, who got, I think he got $700, you know, just you know, free, doesn't have to pay it back or anything. So you see an actual case of somebody you know, uh, that I interviewed. Okay. So that's the first thing to do because you have one or some, okay. What emergency cash? So where can you get somebody to just give you the cash and you don't have to pay back to solve some of your problems and sit down with you to understand what kind of financial problems you have and the best options for you. You got to start learning your options, not just, Oh, I'm going to find a grant and solve all the problems. That's one option maybe, but you can't count on it. You have to find out what other things are available and how to, and, and, and do enough research that you, you know, that you found all your possible options and then choose one. Don't go looking for that uh, one thing only, you know, you have to start building up your repertoire, building up, you know, hey, well, I don't need that now. I'd rather find something else. But you put that aside because you may need that. So that's what information is about. That's what researching is about. That's what solving problem solving is about, is searching for all your options. And you do that by getting on the phone, going to person, these five people, what you do is you go to as many as you can in person, take your little box of receipts or whatever the hell it is. It's like going to an accountant, but these are free. Remember, all these people are free, you know, and they're there to help you. Okay. That's the first thing. So you want to get an overview, stop the bleeding, find, find the, the quickest way that somebody has cash for you to do that and you see if that's available for you and that you qualify. If not, then they will help you say, okay, here's what you have. Here's what we could do. We'll, we'll get rid of this debt, you know, complain about that debt and get it all straightened out for you. So you get professional help doing that. When you're in the war, it's hard to see. <laughs> you're fighting dragons every day, you know, and it's hard to get an overview. And that's why you need help and you get the professional help. Now, the other thing you should do, uh, particularly if you have a bad job or you need a better job to make your income, is go to your local Career One Stop. Okay, here's the link here. If you Google careeronestop.org, you will find it there and that you'll find be able to find your local county Career One Stop. They're there to help you get a better job. Now, how much they help you depends on your you and your personality and the county and uh, so many things. I mean, nothing works for perfect everywhere. <laughs> My age, I know that for sure. <laughs> but you got to go. There's also money to live on when you're there. Uh, there's mon training money and all that kind of stuff. So you're trying to improve your your, your economic well-being. This is a place to touch base. It may not work out for you. I mean, that's always a possibility. But you have to try. How else are you going to know for sure? You're going to search the internet for 10 more hours and hope that, you know, uh, money flies out of the screen. No, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> That's a, you have to go locally and start having a plan. Then I have another video that explains this office to you and the kinds of help that's available. Okay. Uh, now here's another thing. Okay. So now you have, uh, somebody, the first step was finding the, the uh, immediate cash that's for free, the free grant money and someone to sit down with your finances. What do you need? Maybe you're going to lose your home. Maybe you need to do this and that and everything. Somebody help you think through that. Who's done it with hundreds of people before. So you're not new in this game. <laughs> you know, there's millions of people like you, not just hundreds. You read the papers all over there. It's happening to everybody. So this is how you have to grab that, you know, tiger by the tail and just not have it drag you. You know, that's the important thing. Okay. The other thing too, is start generating income. You could do this without a job, without going and looking for a job. And that's because of the internet. And this is how the number four fast income from home with no skills. That's right. This is the gig economy. Okay. <laughs> and you could start learning how to create income at home from internet website websites with no skills and no degree and cost you nothing, nothing. So what if you only made 50 or a hundred dollars that day? That's something you didn't do before. And you can do that. Here's some examples kind of thing. Make an extra $800 a month as a freelancer because you like the shop. Holy cow. 
Anybody can do that. Here, $10 to $25 an hour just because you know English. I mean, there's like students in China that just want to talk to somebody in English. And there's a website for them. And it costs you nothing. You have to, you know, get on the website and, and give your information or whatever. And there, you know, everyone has different requirements. You say this, that, and everything. But there's so many. There's hundreds and hundreds of sites like this. Okay. Uh, here, you have a car. Man, there is so much money you could make if you have a car, drive around. Nobody goes out shopping anymore. Every Everybody has things to deliver. You could just, and you don't have to be delivering passengers. You could deliver pa parcels. You could deliver uh, yeah, lunches. You could, I mean, it's, it's amazing, but people make uh, good, fast money and, and without a whole lot of effort. Now, there's how do you find all this stuff? Okay, there's two places. Um, I have a video here of the one place. It's called Steady, Steady, <laughs> uh, SteadyApp.com. You know, and, and that you put in your zip code and shows you what kind of gigs are there. And it's one place to apply to many of the gigs and stuff like that. It's going to take effort. You know, they just don't say, oh, you know, you sign here and and give you money or give you a job. But you're you're taken care of because it, it, it is. You don't have to worry about getting paid. It's not like you know driving for some small pizza place who may go out of business. No, these are big organizations. They get the money ahead of time. And what they take, you, it costs you nothing to get this job except being there and maybe hustling, uh, you know, to say, hey, I'm available. What, what's available? Yeah. Uh, and to keep looking. Uh, but it, it doesn't cost you any out-of-pocket money. The websites take a piece when they pay. And see, they get the money ahead of them. They get the credit card from the person who's going to hire you. So they already have the money. You're guaranteed you get paid. You know? uh, and then when, when at the end of the job, they give you the money and they take a percent, usually like 10% plus or minus. So that's steady, S-T-E-A-D-Y app, A-P-P dot com. Okay. So that's one of them. You can put, you see here, I put in Washington, D.C. and see all the gigs that are available. I mean, I don't have to go knock on doors. I don't have to, you know, dress up to get this job or anything and, and start making money right at home. Now, here's another one uh, that is very interesting because they have a free course, you know, and the people who take this free course on how to get money on the internet in the gig economy. This isn't starting a website, you know, and selling stuff or anything. No, this is using your services. You're now a capitalist because your capital is your time <laughs> or maybe your stuff. Because you, if you have an extra room, you, you don't use your car. That's another way to, to make money. Have other people use your car. You put it on the website and they give you money. You know, <laughs> other people use your golf clubs when you're not, not using them. You put them on the website and they take them. They make it, you, you make money. So we're all capitalists now in this gig economy. So that's important. Now you take this course and, and it takes a few hours or whatever, but it teaches you how to use the gig economy, what's out there and it has all, see, so look at, okay, here's all the one for care services. You know, all the kinds of things you could do, babysitting, childcare, cosmetology, dog walking, People making 40, 50 grand a year as dog walkers, you know, just, and on the internet, you know, you don't have to set up your own company, personal trainer, tutoring and teaching, acting, animated video production, illustration, photo editing, photography, voice acting, food deliveries, non-food deliveries, ride sharing. These are the kinds of problems. Accounting, human resources, assembly, cooking, cleaning, errands, shopping, laundry. Yeah, that's right. A lot of moving assistants, web design, graphic design. These are gig economy job, marketing, in-person marketing, social media. I mean, they, they're paying, paying people 50, 100 bucks to tend a party. Yeah, they want you to serve hors d'oeuvres you know, or something like that to, tonight. Then they don't care if you come back ever. You know? Hospitality, uh, catering, food service, restaurant, trades, pummeling, landscaping, customer support. See, you could be a customer support right at home on your cell phone you know, and make some money and start that quickly. Start making money. Sports coaching. That's right. <laughs> testing, user net testing. See, so it has all these categories. You like the category, then it tells you where to sign up and do all these kinds of things. See, here it is now. See, that's what I mean. So you're starting to generate income. Okay, you have a shitload of debt or whatever, and you're working it out with some professional to get rid of that thing because they'll help you negotiate with these people so you don't have to pay it all. You know, find the exact grants that are there to help you maybe, you know, to get rid of it. 
Now, also, if you're new to starting a business at home or something like that, then there's free help for that, free mentoring, consulting for earning money at home. See, the government wants you to earn money at home. And here's the organization, uh, SBDC, America's SBDC. If you go, well, that's, I think I have the website over here, America's A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S and then SBDC.org, go there, put in your zip code and you find the local office. You call them, hey, I don't know how to write off my you know, uh, house because now I'm using it as my freelance. Or, or, or what do I do with my taxes? I don't know how to, how, how, how about legal? These people are screwing me with all this kind of stuff because you're making money at home. Uh, they help you for free, see? Now that's cool. You don't have to go on, the, you go on the internet and ask for that help. They're gonna charge you a hundred bucks an hour or more. And then I have videos of people, the people that run these places. I go and interview these people. These are real people. This isn't just bull, you know, whatever. Uh, and I have interviews of people who run these offices or whatever, or even how I use it myself to help a close friend get out of personal debt. And then they were wonderful, man. They helped their get out of debt all for free. Now, the other thing you have to do, I think, is start, and this is down the list. You want to identify the problem, get the quickest money you can possibly press, solve, start dealing with your debt problem or whatever it is, or your housing problem, whatever it is, those consultants will do that. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing to do, start creating income. How do you do that? You get a job with that one career, one stop, or you start making money on the internet with all the you know, uh, programs I just sent you. Now, what you have to do longer term is start learning what free help is available see we're too we're too you know tied to the internet and finding all our help there and don't and you won't find the good help that's free because they don't advertise the good help doesn't advertise so all you're going to find is people that that sell you help you know and you don't want that so i have a a website it, uh, that shows you I have 34 videos to show you how to get free help on anything. What do you got? Education, whether you got, you're sick, whether you need dental health, all these things. So you're not wasting money doing stuff when you, you can get that for free, <laughs> even burial. <laughs> Yeah, there's free programs for that. So if you go to www.free.lesco.com slash Lesco member, I have all those videos there and you can click on and watch those videos on 34 different subjects of the things that come up every day. So that's what I think is, you know, a strategy for helping instead of going around in circles, you know, and that's what we do. We hope that there'll be some magic and that guy on the white horse will come up to the door and save our butt. Yeah. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> we gotta save our own butt. Yeah. But there's help out there to do that. Start getting on the phone. Take those five people, you know, those five organizations. Talk, talk to them belly to belly. Yeah, you know, because it, it's it's easier to help you if you're in person. It's easy to flunk you if they don't know you. If you're digit, <laughs> they don't care. But it's like you know what we call brown nosing at school, going to the teachers after school and, and try. Oh, you know, my dog was sick, and that's why I couldn't do this. And and, and you play on human. We're all human, so use the human. Forget this professional crap. Yeah, <laughs> professionals could, <laughs> to, could fail you easily. Humans, it makes it hard. Yeah, so that's right. The more human you are, <laughs> the more you can get. You know, people want to, it's our instinct to want to help each other. Yeah, you know? so be human. Don't go out and be professional. The, the government bureaucrats and these organizations that are all free, they're human too. And they're actually more human than professionals because professionals pretend they're, they're human and that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, have a nice day. Have we solved all your problems? They don't give a damn, right? <laughs> but they're told to say that, and you feel that, and you just can't wait to get off the goddamn phone. Or they're very nice to you because they want to suck money out of you. you know? That's the other thing. So that's my two cents on this. I, I, I hope it helps you. Uh, the thing is starting. There's no magic single way. Take this formula, whatever, just start at the beginning, see where it leads, uh, because it probably leads to something I didn't even know what to ask. And that's what's fun about, about life. We don't know the answers. <laughs> it's hard enough to know the questions. So you get out there and you try. And if you're not trying something new and doing the same thing, like searching the internet and trying to find that magic website, you gotta stop. Do something more <laughs> active. Go out and talk to people. 
Talk to as many people as you can. Tell them your problem. Don't say, hey, I need $50,000 to solve my problem. Everybody does. But you don't want that. You just say, hey, I have a problem with finances. Can you help me? That's all you have to know how to say and see where the, uh, the conversation goes from there. So, hey, I have a problem, a financial problem. Can you help me? That's what you need to do. And that's what I try to do at, at Let's Go Help, is show people sources like these. And you need, if these don't work, I'll show you a hundred more. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and to let people know about these alternatives, because they're not advertised. Google just needs to get money to solve, you know, to give to their investors and everybody else is crying for money. Uh, so they will show you the people who are giving them money. And the people who are giving them money have to get money from you. See, so that's how the cycle goes. The people I tell you about don't have money <laughs> to give to Google. So they don't, Google has less incentive to show you these people. So that's what I feel I can do is show you these people that Google won't because Google doesn't get money from them. <laughs> from them. Uh, but you can. These are websites that give you money, not take you money.